Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Venture Belt. My name is Kelly. I'm here at Overland Expo West 2022 in Flagstaff, Arizona, where I'm going to search this entire expo to find the newest and coolest rooftop tents out there. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm here at 230 again with Justin. And Justin, you have new tents, and I'll be honest, I've not seen a lot of new tents out, and these are cool. Thank Tell you. me all about them. Well, we've been working on this for the longest, longest time. So that's the first part. We didn't want to just copy. We didn't want to have someone else's design. We did want to have a side open tent. Um, we've been teasing you guys with the armadillo. Thanks for being patient. So many people are like, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? It's not one, it's two. So uh -huh. beside us, we've got two armadillos. And then there's going to be two sizes in these. So this is the first ones to arrive. And the one we're standing in front of is the Armadillo aluminum shell. The function of this thing is just on point. So, so easy. No tucking, no folding, no covers, no straps. Um, push the ladder up and it folds itself in. Bed size in this one is 56 inches by 78 inches. So it's a decent sized bed. Wow. The way that this one functions actually has, allows a little bit of more room at the other end. So if you're over six foot six, and I know they're out there, there's just that little bit of extra space in this that you could utilize. And because the way the lid goes up, and you can see it, Kelly, it's it's huge. Yeah. Like you get inside there and you feel very cathedral-like. So this is the first one through, and then we're gonna have a look at the Armadillo X, which is the second one. And again, the functionality of these things is just on point. No tucking, one fluid movement, and it's back in its case. All right, same mattress on both both tents, so right? So they both run. So here's the features that they share for all of our tents. Okay. All you guys know, we use LST fabric, light suppression technology. Um, if you want to control the light, it doesn't get any better. Mornings are returned to what you want to wake up, not what the sun says, which is great. Um, so we use LST fabric in both. We used a rebound foam mattress in both. A little bit different configuration to our standard soft shell tent um, because of the way things have to fold. It's not quite as thick. So there are two inch in each of them. Uh, the floor is quilted on the armadillo um, aluminum and it runs all the way up, all the way up the back. So it all looks fluid. Oh, wow. In the X, that's something different. So when we get to that, we'll talk about that roof because Perfect. that is super cool. All right. So, you know, I have to ask, how is the mattress for side sleepers? How does it sleep? And can you keep all of your pillows, sleeping bags, everything in the tent when folding it up? Uh, we're thinking that that's a big fat yes. Excellent, yeah? excellent. So there's enough room at the back in the way that it folds. It, it The way that it folds over, there's actually this by about this full of space. So we haven't... Wow. So this is so new. This flew in on Friday afternoon. We picked it up at the airport like some executive in its own car. <laughs> that's how new this thing that's is. That's excellent. So we haven't had a, a real chance to test and play with how much stuff we can get into right. it. So there's a functionality point that we're going to make a little bit better and we'll be able to answer those questions. Next week, there's a YouTube clip going through that's got all of the spec on all of the tents, because again, they're so new. Perfect, uh, and guys, I'll link that description below, so be sure to check that out. Thank you, yeah. So that's the, that's the Armadillo. Uh, it comes with snow pole, comes with boot bags. So what we've done, we've color coded the, the spring rods, so you know which ones fit into what. So these ones are red ones, they go on the front. The black ones go on the side. It, it can't make it any easier. Dummy proof. Yep. Dummy proof. Almost. Almost, all right. Yep. So now, obviously, there's gonna be a weight difference between the aluminum top and the up like a the plastic top or i don't know what you would call that it's not ABS. plastic. So abs, ABS. okay yeah, so yeah. the abs top yep. now what's the weight difference on those and and how is the drivability of it actually they're very similar in weight they both come in in this size they both come in about that 200 pounds okay so both of these tents are 62 inches long so that means it's going to fit this is the shell right. outside shell so it's going to fit on the coma it's going to fit on a zr2 it's going to fit on a gladiator if you want to low mount it it's a great choice um the bigger one's obviously going to change a little bit. It's going to get out to that 78. Uh, but funnily enough, they're almost the same weight because we've got aluminum shell on this one. Okay. But we've got some extra mechanism on that one. And when we get okay. there, you'll see it. Awesome. This has got the gas struts on the inside. The X has got an X frame on the outside. So you go, oh, that's the X because you can see it right there on yes, the side. Yes, perfect. Yep. Yep. Now, is this aluminum shell able to bear, you know, like bike racks and, mm -hmm. you know, for paddle boards, you know, any other accessories you want to throw on top? We're, we're, we, we've yet to test it completely. We expect it to hold somewhere in that 60 to 80 pounds worth of weight on the top. Okay, okay. Um, there's enough space up there to put uh, solar panels or, or recovery boards. That, that's going to fit up there perfect, Excellent. which is a common choice of where that's going to go. And there's two rails that are already mounted on it, ready to rock and roll. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. All right, let's check out the other one. 
Cool. All right, Justin, so this is the X, right? Yep, this okay. is the X frame. So let me tell you about that. And it works functionality wise, it works a little bit differently. It raises, so it doesn't just raise like this, it actually raises up and up at the back. Yes. What that allows is for a really good cross flow ventilation. Yes. So at the far end, and you'll see this in a minute, uh, at the foot end, what I call the foot end, it's got a window. So you can get that cross flow. So summertime, it's gonna be fantastic. Um, I gotta admit, that was when I walked past this tent, I double took, I was like, wait, there's an extra window in there. That That's never been in a, a tent like this before, the eye camper clamshell sty style tent. Most of the clamshells work in a similar function that they're a, they're a one piece that flops up. So yes. because if one comes up and up in that X frame, um, really makes something very, very different. Actually, yep. this thing is beautiful. Uh, we're, we're super excited. There's some there's some technology that have gone into this um, that steps it way, way, way away from everything else. The interior lining, like up in the roof, that's actually a automotive grade insulated one piece liner. So if you pull the roof down of your vehicle, that's what we're talking about in here. Wow. It's not stuck on with glue. So if you've got some allergies to glues and bits and pieces, yes. this thing is just one and done all up in there in one go. So no glues, no chemicals, no anything. Just poked in, riveted up with a, with a bead around the edge. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so I love really it. Nice. I love those the, the little those little details. They really matter. That's what we're all about. And you've seen our tents before. Um, we say that all the time. When you come to a show like this, and this is a great time to do it, um, you get to look at all the small details. So if you get to a trade show like this and you can't see all of the models that you're looking at from a manufacturer, you've got to ask yourself, why? Yeah. I want to compare all the small details. I want to see what it looks like. So the small details in this, uh, and just to name a few, the front pole is a lever lock and you can see it there, it's a lever lock. So I don't have to go on feed poles, I don't have to spring poles. Wow. So the functionality of this is even better. The Armadillo aluminum was great. This one's even better again. So both have got idiosyncrasies to why you'd buy one over the other, but functionality of both of them is, is on point. That's perfect. Really like I said earlier, there's not a lot of new innovation and I'm so glad you guys are starting to just step outside the box and just keep innovating because that's what's really gonna push this industry to keep going with the rooftop tents. Oh, absolutely, and we haven't seen anything really new. Yes. And there's a bunch of side shells out there. There's a bunch of units that may look the same right. or very yes. similar from model to model to model. And again, it's really hard to see from the internet the quality and those small details. So we worked really hard at making it different on a bunch of features. The windows are different, the material's different, the mattress is different, the roof line is different. Um, the only thing that's the same really is the way that the first part on the armadillo actually opens. Right. And uh, you know, some may say, well, it's the same as, well, every car's got four wheels. Yeah, so there's a, we're already there. So we're, we've got that one feature that's the same. This thing, the armadillo X, there's nothing like it. I love it. I also love the way you guys displayed these too. They're so easy to see everything inside. They're, they're like at the perfect height, just to be able to really just look at, like you said, the details matter. So be able to see those details the height that you have all these tents out, just perfect. Thank you. Yeah, we, we, we actually built the new stands uh, last week, like <laughs> just made it for the show. And uh, you're right, perfect. we wanted to be able to look at eye height, get yes. all those details, because you're not feeling uncomfortable. I can have four people stand around, have a look at the tent. Yeah. I want people to come and test and see the difference and see that detail. Mount up on top of the car, yeah, that's where it's gonna live when you get it home, right. but that's not what it's about. You wanna be, here, you wanna be able to touch and feel and yes. get in and get out and do all those things. Yep, yep. it's not just about looks, about function and Exactly. Again, the exactly. details. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, yep. now let's take a look at this latch system, the X system, because I'm really intrigued at the, how this opens. Cool. Okay, so firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to undo the lever lock on the sides here. And we're going to push that down. All right, that's pretty easy. We're going to grab the ladder. What we're going to do is we're going to push up, and you'll see what happens. It works like a convertible top. Over it goes. Ladder goes in. Make sure we've got a handle. So we can get the rest down in a minute. This little elastic strap has been on waiting there and hooks for us the whole time. That's gonna go up around the side there and that's gonna help pull all the pieces in. Then we're gonna grab this strap and with one easy movement, and there you go. So the latching mechanism works like this, you've got a little bit of extra space, then you pull it down and then lock it. And there you go. Nice. Now what I do want to show you while we're walking around with a handheld. We get to this point, if you come around the back with me, here's all that space we're talking about for your bedding. Here it is. It's there. And my pillow's gonna fit in there? Yeah, they probably will. 
That's a ton of space. Yep. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to set the tent up. Firstly, I've already cheated. I've done the other latches already, but we're going to pop that latch off. First step is pull the shit up, let it do its thing on the gas struts, hook up our elastic strap back up on these hooks that are waiting for it. We're going to get the strap out of the way and we're just going to pull the ladder out and pull it all over in one fluid movement. Push up on the front nose. And there you go. Tent's done. Is that easy? That's just too easy. Justin, I cannot tell you how impressed I am with this rooftop tent. It is, this is something completely, I've never even sent, even eye campers don't fold that quickly. That's amazing. Uh, we're, we're loving it. You know, we're, we're different. Uh, it functions well. And that was our main concern with this style of tent. It needs to function really well. And that's why we've been so long before we release this. It's taken over a year to get us to this point. So super stoked. But Kelly, there's something else I want to show you. Oh, I'm psyched. Let's yeah. see it. All right, Justin, what do you got? I'm super excited. So because we're, we sell sleeping stuff, we, we, we sell a tent. Um, the problem you get with a lot of tents is a good quality sleeping bag to go with. So we went and developed the Royale range Ooh. of sleeping bags. What's a Royal sleeping bag? So in this one, we have the Royal Queen. It's a queen size sleeping bag. This is canvas shell, waterproof canvas shell, flannel inner. And if you see that, it actually covers the whole tent. It's 62 inches wide by 96 inches long. Wow. So it's a big sleeping bag. This is a man-sized sleeping bag. If you've got two of you, you're both gonna fit in there pretty comfy. This will fold up in the tent. We actually did um, three sizes. So check this out. 36 inch sleeping bag. That's a good size man sleeping bag. Yep. Zip two of them together. That's gonna fill a 72 inch tent. Zip three of them together. And, and there's, there's way too much sleeping area. Yeah. Anything. If you get two of the 44 or the Duke sleeping bag, zip two of those together, you're at 88 inches of sleeping bag. I could continually zip sleeping bags all the way at the oh, parking lot if I knew enough people. I reckon we should just like a world record of how many people we can fit in a sleeping bag, but I'll just uh, join them all together. That'd be perfect. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's something new. Have a look at the Royale series of uh, sleeping bags. That's Pretty perfect. Cool. Honestly, Justin, my wife hates the nylon sleeping bags. Yeah, so I run with a flannel bag yep. that is about this thick and is just uh, cumbersome, absolutely cumbersome yep. to, to get out of. So this is perfect. I love it. Thank you. Awesome. All right, guys. This is really cool. You guys have to check this out. Justin, tell me the price points really quick again on the two tents and the sleep bag. Okay, so the tents are $36.99 for the X frame, $37.99 for the aluminum frame. Uh, the sleeping bag is $199. Excellent. For the queen size, and they come down as you go smaller. Perfect. And yep. where can people find you guys at? Uh, www.number23word0.com. Oh, yeah. 230.com. Excellent. All right, yep. you guys got to be sure to check that out. Check the link in the description. And Justin, thank you so much. Thanks, Shelly. Keep the innovation coming. Thank, thank you. you. All right, guys, I'm here at Rome Adventure Co. with Casey. Just like last year, you guys are killing the industry with all of your new innovations, and you've got a new rooftop tent. Tell me about it. Yeah, I appreciate that. So this is our uh, most recent tent that we've uh, launched. It's the Rambler rooftop, hard shell uh, rooftop tent. Um, it's fully custom design, and we've been super stoked and uh, excited about the response that everyone's given on it this year. All right, the big questions with any rooftop tent is, how is it for side sleepers? Can you keep your bedding in it? And how comfortable is the mattress? Cool. Yeah, so side sleepers, this is the tent for you. Uh, it's got one of the thickest mattresses on the market. So it's a two and three quarter inch mattress in it. Wow. Um, so you got a lot of comfort there, super soft. Um, one of the things we've been getting a lot of response for from people is they're surprised at like how comfortable for a rooftop tent the mattress is. Um, with the design on it, uh, it's, it leaves an extra, you know, four to six inches on top of the mattress. And so people have been super excited that you can just leave your bedding in it, oh, uh, key, which makes key. it even quicker. So when you pop it up, bedding's in there, ready to go right when you need it. So. Excellent. And I, two and three quarter inch. I mean, how yeah. did you guys manage to get that all in the, the compartment of the tent? I mean, that seems like a really, really thick bed. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things that we've focused on on all of our tents. So we have like our other model, the, the Vagabond, that comes in the three different sizes. Uh, we've always focused on, on comfort being a big part of that. And so uh, the Vagabond runs with a three inch mattress. We decided to go with a two and three quarter for this one uh, just for the, the space conservation with it. Uh, but people have been stoked and it, it seems like it's working great. Excellent. So. so what is the weight and the price point? 
Yeah, the weight on is 130 pounds. Um, so that's pretty light. For yeah, a tent. with it being a fiberglass uh, shell on the top and bottom, uh, we've been able to shave a little bit of weight uh, perfect, perfect. with it there. And then price co price point comes in at $3,400. Excellent. So. Wow, this thing is, and you know what I got to say, the, the top of it with just the way it's designed, the shape of it, it's just really rugged, cool looking. I really like that. Yeah, uh, I mean, you use the word rugged there. That's kind of where our inspiration came from it. Um, with our, you know, our widely loved rugged cases that we have, uh, we wanted to follow the aesthetics of the rugged case. And so that was super intentional where most uh, rooftop tents out on the market right now have more of a, a rounded um, feel to them. We wanted something that was a little bit tougher, a little bit more rugged um, and could withstand anything. And so we developed the shell to pattern after that. And uh, I think it looks really great on a lot of these rigs that we see here at Overland yeah. Expo West. Yeah, it's it's really badass. I got to admit. Yeah, thanks. Uh, where people find you guys at? Uh, RomaVentureCo.com. Okay, excellent. Casey, thank you so yep. very much. Absolutely. You guys are going to kill it. Cool. Thanks. thanks, man. All right, guys, that's it. That's the newest, latest, and greatest from Overland Expo West 2022 for rooftop tents. There's not a lot out there. Hopefully next year we'll see more innovation. 23.0 and Roman Venture Co. are definitely driving the market now and they're driving the force behind rooftop tents. Hopefully we see more out of more manufacturers and get that treadmill rolling. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.